Good morning and welcome back to Route 66 News. I am Lucas Barrett, your news anchor. And today's top story is how to overcome your fears. But first, we go to Katie for our competition corner. Take it away, Katie. Thanks, Lucas. So last week's video, we didn't have anybody comment, so I won by default, which is pretty awesome because I got 100 bucks. What's up? But next week's video, we're going to try something a little different. We want you guys to send us a video of you doing a cool trick shot. And whoever the coolest one is, or whoever's video is the coolest, will be featured in next week's video. I can't wait to see what you guys have and see how talented you are. And back to you, Lucas. Thanks, Katie. I really appreciate you doing this competition corner week in and week out. We really appreciate your work here at Route 66. Now, we're going to go to Miss Madison for a surprise segment. Hey guys, so for our surprise segment for today, um, I'm taking Brother Lucas's favorite dinosaur, which his name is Brock, and um, I'm going to hide him somewhere in our Route 66 studio, and um, you have to tell Brother Lucas the secret word, which is pineapple. You have to tell him to tell me pineapple, okay? And then he will get Brock back. Back to you, Lucas. Cool. Thanks, Madison, for that great reporting. Now we go to Katie and Miss Madison for our Simply Science segment. Thanks, Lucas. So today we're going to be making a paper fortune teller. Um, first thing you're going to need are a piece of paper, crayons, a pencil or a pen, and a pair of scissors. And of course, just like any other craft, your parents. So, let's get started. First, we're gonna take our um, piece of paper and we're gonna fold the top corner over to where you make a triangle. And as you see, there's a little extra here. We're just gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut that right on off. All right, so then we have our triangle. We're gonna open it up. And we're going to take the opposite corner where your crease is down the middle and we're going to fold it over to make the same triangle but a different crease in your paper. Once you have your two creases, it'll make an X across your paper. We're going to take each corner and we're going to fold it into the middle of your paper. But you're gonna do that all the way around to where you make a square out of your paper. All right. Now with the folded part facing towards you like this, we're gonna take one side and we're gonna fold it into the middle, just like this. To where there's a crease right there in the middle You'll be able to see it and just fold it to meet that crease. And we're going to flip it around. We're going to do the same thing on the same on the other side of our square. And we'll unfold it, and we're going to rotate it to where our folded are like this. And we're going to do the same thing with the other two sides. Okay, and once we've done that, we're going to flatten it out, and then we're going to flip it over to where the where we folded it the first time is now facing down on the table. Then we're going to take our corners and we're going to fold them into the middle, just like we did the first time. And you'll see that there are a square, there are four squares. We're just going to fold those in half, basically to make triangles. Okay, once we do that, we're going to fold it in half just to get a little bit more flexible with the paper. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, pick a color. Um, purple. P-U-R-P-L-E. Pick a number. And four. Four. All right. And one, two, three, four. Pick another number. Six. Six. All right. And then you would read whatever is under number six. 
So that is how you guys do it. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Back to you, Lucas. Thanks, girls, for that amazing craft. Now, if you'll turn with me to Romans chapter 8, I want to talk to you about overcoming your fears. In Romans 8, it says, For ye have not received the spirit of fear, of bond, or I'm sorry, not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Now, I want to talk to you about what this means. You know, we talked about fears. Uh, what are you scared of? Um, are you scared of heights? Are you scared of talking in public? Are you scared of, uh, you know, many different things? You know, some, some people are scared of butterflies. Some people are scared of spiders. Uh, me, I'm not too good with heights. Don't like it. You know, I like being on the ground. Um, but there's lots of things that scare us. Some things that maybe probably shouldn't and some things that do. Uh, or, the, or some things that should. Well, this talks about uh, fear of, really, kind of fear of tomorrow or, or a fear of what's going to happen. You know, we know that Jesus uh, holds our future. Jesus uh, knows what's going to happen, and he, knows, he knew what was going to happen today before ever today was here. And he knows what's going to happen tomorrow, today, and he knows what's going to happen a year from now. He already knows. So we don't have to be scared of our tomorrow. We don't have to be scared of what's going on around us because we know that God's got it. Um, we know that we have parents that love us and care for us and that when we're listening to them and obeying them, uh, they've got the best in mind for us. And when we listen to God and we read our Bibles and we study, we know that God's going to take care of us no matter what because he loves us and he cares for us. And that when we're scared and when we're nervous, like, when it's dark or maybe when you have to speak in front of somebody, we can trust God. We can call out God and he'll be there right beside us. He'll be walking with us right there and he'll take us by the arm and he'll walk out with us and we can trust him. He'll lead us the right way and we don't have to be scared because we can trust in him. Isn't it great that when you get scared, mom and dad helps? Have you ever done that? Have you ever asked your mom or dad or told them you were scared or something? And either they made it all better or they showed you why I, you don't have to be scared anymore. Didn't it feel great? Didn't it feel great when mom and dad helped? I know it felt great to me whenever my dad helped or my mom helped. Well, Jesus wants to do the same thing for you. When you ask him to help you, he will. He'll always help. No matter what time it is, no matter daytime or nighttime, when you call on Jesus, he's there. And he'll help you. He'll help you. He'll help you stay calmer. He'll help you see that maybe there's not anything to even be scared of. He loves us and he takes care of us and he wants us to know that we don't have to live in fear. We can live in happiness and joy because he takes care of us. He gave us the great parents that we have. He gave us the great homes and the great things that we already have. Some of us don't have uh, uh, things that other people have and they don't have the things we have, right? Well, God gave us what we have for a reason. Now let's use it to glorify him and know that when the, we, th those times that we get scared and those times that we don't know what to do, we can trust God. And we can 100% always call on him and say, God, I need you now. And he'll be there always. Well, thank you for listening today. Have a good day. Thank you for watching Route 66 today. I am Lucas Barrett, your news anchor. I'm Katie Hardy. I'm Madison Russell. And we're, we're everything, everything else. And, and that's, that's the, the news, news from Route 66. 66.